Hello, my name is Isabella, and today I want to share with you how I came to carry out Life of Faith in Shinchinji. Growing up, I was raised in the Catholic faith, and although my parents weren't big churchgoers, I spent my entire education, from elementary all the way to high school, attending a Catholic school. This meant that embedded into my curriculum were things like Bible classes, prayer groups, and even mass. But despite my faith being such a big part of my daily schedule, and spending hours on end learning about my faith, I still had so many questions about God. I vividly remember expressing my questions and even my doubts to priests and any other teacher I can get a hold of, but I was constantly told, just pray about it. I did, but I never found answers. By the time I came to college, my faith was no longer a priority. Instead, I was focused on my academics and preparing well for my career. Christianity, once a big part of my identity, became something that I found no purpose in. I even remember filling out a demographic survey in one of my classes. It asked whether or not I believed and practiced a religion. In the past, if I was asked something like this, without even thinking twice, I would have said yes. But at that moment, I thought back. I hadn't gone to church, prayed, or even thought about God in years. I proceeded to fill out the no box. I realized that those unanswered questions became doubts. And those doubts resulted into me losing any interest or belief in Christianity that I once had. By my second year of college, life became more and more challenging. Not only was I under the combination of stress and pressure of doing well academically, but also in the span of three months, I faced the loss of my grandmother and aunt, both of whom basically raised me. As I was mourning, all I can do is wonder, what else is out there? Do people just live and then they die? And if that's the case, then what's the point of life? I began to have so many questions about God and heaven. And after five years, I fell down to my knees and prayed to God. Just a month later, a close friend of mine mentioned to me how he was learning about really interesting things in the Bible. He mentioned how he was being taught things like how to lift a prayer that God answers, what is the evidence of God being alive, and also something that I was really curious about, what does heaven really look like, and what are the qualifications to enter heaven? After some time, he invited me, and immediately I said yes. I felt like my prayers were finally being answered. Eventually, one by one, I learned again the basics of the Bible, and as I was learning, I came to a huge realization. The reason why I had so many questions and even doubts about God was because my whole life I was taught incorrectly about the Bible. But here in Shinchanji, every single sermon can be understood through scripture and is according to the Bible. For the first time, I finally understood that God is a living and active God because he's someone who makes promises, then thousands of years later, he keeps them. I also understood that in order for me to be prepared for heaven, I need to first learn about parables. And I also need to understand God's grand plan of saving every single one of us. The church is supposed to prepare you for heaven. But out of all the churches I've been to, never once have I understood heaven as it is written according to the scriptures. In Shinchenji, I have grown more in my faith in the span of four years than in 20 years experiencing different churches. Today, God has guided me to a place where I'm being spiritually fed every single day, and I'm being encouraged to grow in my faith and be a light to the world around me. My hope and prayer is that you too can realize that Shinchenji is not this evil organization that the media has fabricated it to be, but we're people with genuine hearts wanting to do well to God and every single person around us. Thank you for listening.